up, gentlemen? So the other day, I got an email from one of our friends who's like, yo, Alpha, I'm confused. There was this spicy senorita that I was super into. We were talking, and then all of a sudden, she started talking about my boy. He's confused. He didn't know if he did something wrong. He didn't know if he should just move on. As we've talked about before, women are amazing, mystical, magical, beautiful, seductive creatures of sassiness. But on the flip side, they're also a little bit loco and do some crazy weird things when indeed they like you, which totally Fs with our dude brains because as dudes, we're basic creatures. We're simple men, right? We're like, yo, if you like me, tell me and we'll make this shit happen, gentlemen. The truth is, women are not that simple or easy to read. But today, I'm gonna help you decipher the female code of craziness. And real quick, guys, before we get started, there's an audiobook that I recently listened to that I would highly recommend in terms of attraction. It's called What Women Want in a Man, How to Become the Alpha Male Women Respect, Desire, and Want to Submit to. Now, I know that the title is a little bit cringy, even for me, right? It's a little bit cringy, right? But when I started getting into it and going through it, guys, next level, Bruce has nailed it in terms of giving you actionable steps on how to become a more desirable man. Guys, if you want to check it out, I'm going to link to it down below. It's from Audible, today's video sponsor, and if you want to, you can grab it for free. So the first strange thing that those loco ladies love to do when they're into you is fake profile creation. So this one, honestly, in my opinion, is a little bit, little, little, little sketchy because what women will do a lot of times that's a little bit crazy is set up a fake profile on the different social media accounts and then they will A, stalk the shit out of you or B, test you to see if you're in a relationship, if you like somebody and just to see what information they can get from you. Or they'll use it to actually stalk the girl that you're actually interested in. Gentlemen, I'm telling you, this one is next level crazy. A general rule of thumb, if there is somebody that you don't know that's like super hot in their profile picture and they send you a friend request, don't accept it. The second strange thing that those spicy senoritas do if they're into you, gentlemen, is start posting sexier selfies. Like three weeks ago, she's posting pictures of kittens and what she ate for breakfast, but now, all of a sudden, once you started like talking to her, right, she starts posting more revealing, more provocative, sexier pouty lips and sexy and like sexy and making sure that you have seen that luscious booty, right? She's like, yo, I want him to see how amazing, how sexy, how voluptuous, how incredibly sassy I am. She's hoping that finally, after you see what you could potentially not have or could be having, that you finally man up and ask her out or start talking to her. She's also hoping potentially that it makes you a little bit jealous. Which brings me to the third strange ass thing that women do when they actually like you, and that is flirt or talk to another guy in front of you. And this is what was happening with our friend who sent me the email, right? This girl that he was talking to, he wasn't moving fast enough, and so she's like, yo, I'm, I'm taking this next level to help him understand that the urgency is now. And so she starts asking, she starts flirting, she starts pretending she may be interested in somebody else, hoping that finally you get it through your dumbass dude brain and are like, yo, mama, I'm the guy. Why are you talking to Brian, my friend? He sucks. Or another scenario and option is that she actually is interested in your friend because he took Alpha up on the offer to get the free book that I talked about before that's going to change your life. Every single one of you should be listening to this audiobook. It's amazing. He even goes into things like how to silence your inner weakling, not to mention gives you actionable steps on how to become a more confident, sexy, attractive alpha male that all those spicy senoritas literally go loco over. Another takeaway from this book, 10 ways in which you can immediately begin working on yourself to become an overpowering magnet for the women of your dreams. What? Does that sound, does that sound good to you? If the answer is yes, you want, you want a little more? All right, how about how to become an alpha male? Be more assertive with women and transform yourself into a strong man she respects and submits to gentlemen, gentlemen, gentlemen. If you are not taking me up on this free offer that I'm gonna link to down below, you are totally missing out. Honestly, I know that the book title is a little bit cringy, but the information is amazing and can definitely help up your game. Guys, I'm gonna link to it down below. All you gotta do is go to audible.com slash alpha m or text the word alpha m to 500, 500 to get a 30 day free trial to Audible Premium Plus and you're gonna get one free audiobook. Audible has an insane selection of amazing audiobooks and 
in literally like every genre you can think of. Everything from bestsellers, celebrity memoirs, thrillers, not to mention wellness and personal development. If you guys haven't been to Audible in a while, they've got so much more than just like audiobooks. They've got original Audible content. They've got a ton of podcasts, not to mention new series, guided fitness and meditation programs. I'm telling you, the plus category is crushing it. So the way that it works with Audible, guys, is pretty amazing. Every month, you get one credit to choose any audiobook you want. Like, it doesn't matter. And it's yours to keep in your Audible library, right? But you also, and this is the thing that I love, you get unlimited access to the Audible Plus category. Guys, hit the link down below, audible.com slash alpha M, or text the word alpha M to 500-500 to get a 30-day free trial to Audible Premium Plus, and you're going to get one free audiobook, that audiobook that I want you to check out, like, literally now, because it truly will unleash your inner beast, is what women want in a man. I'm telling you, this book is next level. It sounds a little cringy, but it's amazing. Guys, hit the link, grab it today. It's literally going to change your game. Speaking of game, the next strange thing that women do when they're definitely like into you is they'll be hot and cold, right? They'll change all of a sudden. Everything will be going great one day. The next day, you come in or you see her or you talk to her or shoot her a text. Hey, mama, what's going on? You still sexy today? Now, normally, she's like, yes, I'm sexy. you like, right, right away. Boom, right? Not now. Now, all of a sudden, she's like ignoring you. She's kind of ghosting you a little bit. When everything yesterday was amazing, what is she doing? What she's doing is trying to tell you, yo, I'm sick of waiting. Now is the time. If you want it, come and get it. Or you'll ask her to do something, right? And she'll say, yeah, I'd love to. And then all of a sudden, she'll say, sorry, I can't. I'm too busy, right? Wait a second. You're like, wait a second. You weren't too busy an hour ago. What's going on? What she's trying to do is make you question how interested she actually is in you. Maybe she feels like she's been too available. Maybe she feels like she's been a little bit too much of the aggressor and she wants to take, take a little bit of the power back. And so she's going to say yes, but then she's going to change her mind and she's going to be too busy. And then she's going to have plans and, and you're going to be like, wait a second, you got somebody else? Are you not interested anymore? No, she's definitely interested. She just wants you to act faster. The next strange thing that women do when they actually like you is they will test you. They will test you to see if you're interested in somebody else. So she might say, yo, Brian, how you doing? Have you ever met my friend Janice? What do you think? Janice is pretty sassy. Do you like her? Do you think she's sexy? She's waiting. She's testing. She wants to see how you respond. Janice, really? She is sassy. I would love to. Can you set that, right? If you do that, she's going to be super pissed off and ignoring you and punch you in the nuts. She's hoping that instead you're like, Janice, that will the beast, that will the that will you think I would date a wildebeest? <laughs> no, I was just, I was, I was, I was, I was just saying, don't get, don't get mad. Speaking of mad, that's another strange thing that women do when they like you, right? They'll get all mad for no reason, like literally, like no reason. They might pout, they might ignore you, they might just like call you a jerk. You think, you think I'm a jerk? You don't, you don't even know me. What are you talking about? Have you, have you, have you talked to my ex-girlfriend? No, but she definitely stalked the shit out of her, which is another strange thing that women do when they like you. They go, they go surfing, they go surfing. They go looking for your exes. They are going to do a lot of weird things. Or something even more strange, they'll have their friend do the stalking for them. Women use their friends to get information. Women also use their friends, their amigos, their compadres to figure out whether or not a dude is worth dating or if he's actually interested in them. And so if her friend comes up to you and actually starts dropping some hints, just, just casting that line and fishing for information about you, what you're into, what you're doing, if you're dating anybody, or or how you feel about the woman that likes you that isn't actually willing to tell you, yo, I like you and I'm ready to get frisky and freaky with you because you're awesome. Gentlemen, the truth is, women are weird. They're crazy and they do some insane things when they're actually interested in you. But the truth is, you are amazing. So do I blame them? No, not at all. You are the most amazing dude I've ever met. But the truth is, they're still crazy. Gentlemen, you are crazy, crazy amazing.